Hello everyone. Um, my name is Fabiola Ramirez and I will be presenting my module 10 assignment, putting all together for my final presentation, covering a little bit on um, my personal reflection on this term or this, this course, field classroom overview based on um, milestone two and milestone three just to cover a little bit about everything, I put a uh, PowerPoint together and I will be presenting to you all. First, my personal reflection. So what are my final reflections on what I've learned this term? I can say my final reflections on what I've learned this term are that we are full of students that come from different backgrounds different places and different different many things different um different languages different races different different in many ways but we as the teachers or caregivers are the ones standing in the middle of all of these students and families like you can see here the teachers or the, this this person is standing in the middle. For me, I I like this picture. I like this image. That's why I added as a visual here because I've learned that making sure we include all of our different backgrounds to our curriculum and classroom is is really a huge part of the education and learning of all of our English language learners and all the students in general, but specifically English language learners. Um, I've learned that there might be times when we have to look for available resources around us. So we have to um, we have to look to see what's available so we can be up to date on several topics depending on the backgrounds and um, and cultures we have in our classrooms. But this is one of my favorite pictures. It's stand in the middle and you are the one welcoming each and every one of your students' um, backgrounds into your classroom. So you have to make sure you know strategies and how can you make them feel part of your class. Um, what was my favorite assignment that I completed in this course and that I'm most proud of and why? I can say, I think I'm most proud of milestone one. I mean, um, the milestones in general. I completed in this course, all of the milestones and it took me a while. <laughs> These milestones um, allowed me to spend plan time at my placement school and look for specific things to fulfill my, my activity. I spent time with these activities, but I can say I really enjoyed everything I learned from them. Um, for example, the running record. Um, I've heard so much about running records before, but I've never had the opportunity to make one myself. So I was excited to watch the, the example videos that were available for that module. And I was able to elaborate more on it. And as I work on it, I was able to then reflect when everything was, was finished. I enjoyed focusing on a specific English language learner for my running record. I was able to reflect on the activity and make sense of it. Why was it done? What can I do next? My favorite part was to find out ways to continue the learning of that student and how will I be able to make sure that this student is still getting the adequate attention and help she needs to further her reading and comprehension uh, fluency skills. Um, for lesson planning, I love the opportunity to continue my um, my knowledge of creating and planning lesson plans for a specific age group. My lesson plan was on weather. I took some time to put all of my ideas together and add it to my lesson plan. I have learned 
to jot down ideas first as they come to mind and then take a look again and plan more on um more on them but just like finding the exact way or the 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 perfect way to add them to my lesson plan and make them work um i was also able to put my lesson into action and deliver my plan to the students where i learned from strengths and weaknesses and i was able to get feedback from my mentor teacher and just students in general which was really really nice um what is one takeaway based on what i learned in this course and or my observations um, one takeaway is learning about how to interact with students and how to make them comfortable in my classroom, regardless of language barriers. All of the assignments in this course have actually taught me a little bit more on how to support English language learners in class and even in the community in general. Instead of making them feel bored when reading independently, um, during guided reading, um, group reading, etc., I have learned more on how to find specific and helpful strategies that will allow me to be successful when teaching my, my students their reading and writing skills. And instead of feeling bored, they can feel motivated and engaged to participate and not feel shy when learning the, the English language, but making them feel they enjoy the lesson they enjoy what they're doing um not falling asleep like me i i back in school i feel like i wish my teacher had strategies to make me feel that i i was going to be successful reading but instead i i didn't have a great great experience so i think i this is what i want for my students i want to make a better experience for them, include them, and um, make it fun for them. For my field and um, classroom overview, classroom background, and a little summary of the, the group of students. Um, my classroom background is predominantly Asian and Chinese students, and they are all English language learners. This means that the teacher needs to learn the basic Chinese words in order to better communicate with the students. Well, the teacher does. I was very happy to see that the teacher is very comfortable speaking um, to his students in Chinese and encouraging them to read more and use their words when they need to express their feelings, just like he's doing. Um, there was a lot of times when the teacher gave some uh, students um, not instructions, not rules, but motivation in their language. And I was impressed. The students are always able to encourage and help one another to, like they, they're able to seek their teacher's help. And when they're not able to do something, when they're not able to read a passage, read a sentence, read a phrase, they help each other. Everyone is, is comfortable helping others and they are also um, capable and knowledgeable of using all the resources they have in the in their classrooms they know where to find stuff so this is a huge part of the classroom background that I saw like they they're all helping each other they're Asian they're English language learners but they they get the help they need from their their teacher um, what were my students' strengths and areas of growth based on Milestone 2? What kind of considerations did I or would I implement to help them overcome their areas of growth? So I reflected back on Milestone 2. My students' strengths were that um, my student was reading at a level based on the accuracy rate chart um, at 96% and being on the easy independent level, which was good. Um, after reading the passage once, she knew what 
what was it about? This tells me that she understood or comprehended the passage. She had just read and was able to talk about it. I asked her questions about it and she was able to share not, not the same things in the reading, but similar things, which showed me that she fluently read the passage, but also showed comprehension. Um, something I would be able to keep in mind would be to allow my student to read more in, in order to encourage her learning to continue improving and emerging as she gets more practice reading and making connections to both familiar and new vocabulary words. Um, I will provide appropriate level passages for her to read and slowly move on to challenging passages where she would have the opportunity to learn and see the different um, different words, familiar and unfamiliar words. And this way she will be able to emerge with her fluency skills. Um, for milestone three, a brief summary would be um, my lesson plan was based on weather. The strategies I included in my lesson plan were to make sure I included visuals for my students to see, first of all. I added a book to read and refer back to, and I used planned vocabulary words, and also allowed my students for to, to share their thoughts and ideas as, as needed. When I implemented my lesson, I was able to use the planned vocabulary words and even add more vocabulary words as I implemented the lesson. Um, I was able to get my students thinking, going as they elaborated and extended the part of the lesson. I wasn't even the one initiating this, but they, they initiated their thoughts on how I plan to elaborate and extend on this, this lesson. Um, my students started to share more on how the weather can affect their life without me even bringing this up. They began to share their thoughts and previous knowledge with me. So this was, this was really, um, really fun to, to know and hear. I didn't have any change to my lesson, but I think something that I would change and do differently if I could implement my lesson again would be to have my students share the activity they did in front of the class. So the lesson that we, the activity that we did after the lesson, I would have um, them in like present it and show it to their, their classmates. This will allow me to, to give them the opportunity to, to open, open up and at the same time like practice their reading and speech skills as they share what they worked on. So on top of learning about the weather conditions and how the, they, they affect the daily life, um, they would be able to learn more skills and elaborate on, on that. Um, that's it. Thank you. I think I covered a little bit of, of everything. I had so much fun. Um, had so much fun in this class and I really appreciate all of you guys for the, the comments and feedback and everything and I wish you guys luck. Thank you so much.